Hello everyone, in today's video I am going to show you that how you can get started with Google Workspace. My name is Talha and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro fast. Let's get started. In order to access the Google Workspace, go to your favorite browser and in the search bar, type in workspace.google.com. When you will hit enter, it will take you to Google Workspace. So here you can see that this is the main page of Google Workspace. If you talk about Google Workspace, that what it is, it is a manageable and easy to use communication and collaboration platform. It includes all the productivity apps like Gmail, Calendar, Drive, Docs, Sheet, and many more. Google Workspace comes with new features as separate tools have integration with each other. In order to get started, you're going to click on Get Started. But first of all, let me show you the apps. So click on what's included. And here you can see that you have Gmail, you have Meet, you have Chat, Calendar, uh, you have Forms, Slides, Sheets, Google Keep, and many more. Here you can see that we have different plans for Business Starter, we have Business Standard, and we have Business Plus. In Business Starter, it starts from $6 per user per month in which you have custom and secure business email, 100 participant video meetings, 30 gigabytes of cloud storage per user, you have security and management controls, you have standard support. In the business standard, it's $12 per user per month. It has custom and secure business email, it has 150 participants. It has 2 terabytes of cloud storage, which is awesome. You have security and management controls, and you have standard support. So here you can see that we also have Business Plus. Most people, they buy the Business Standard or the Business Starter. You can pick one. It will take you to a page something like this. So here you can click on the business name. So let's say that here I want to include the business name as skills build training. And now it would ask me the number of employees, including me, who are going to use it. So I'm just going to check this two to nine. And you can check whatever situation suits you the best. Now, from here, you are going to select your country. And now, you're going to click on Next. Now, you're going to put in your first name, last name, and current email address. Once you have added your contact info, now click on Next. Here, you can see that it is asking you, does your business have a domain? So if you already have your domain name or URL of your website, then you're going to click on I have a domain. If you do not have a domain but you would like to buy one, then you can click on it and you can buy your domain from Google Domains. If you do not want to buy a domain and you want to move forward, then you can click on third option, which is essentially I would like a free dot page domain. Keep in mind that if you have selected the third option, then in that case later on, you can upgrade to buying a domain if you want. I already have a domain, so I would check this and then I would click on next. So here I am going to put in my domain name, which is essentially Z-A-E-I-O-U. I do not use that domain. 
so for example purposes i'm using it here so that you can understand that how to follow this procedure and get started with google workspace so once you have done it uh, when you once you have put in uh, your domain name make sure that it's accurate you do not have any mistake and then click on next so now you can see that it says email sent to zaiou.com and then it says won't be affected until you set up email with this account so I'm gonna click on next so here you can subscribe to Google tips and tricks they would email you so I'll say no thanks it says educate your users I'm gonna say okay and then it would ask you how you will sign in so for that you want to give here your username so it could be anything like it could be info it could be admin it could be editor it could be anything that you want so I would do here info at zaiou.com which is most popular and then I am going to give here a password the password it has to have at least eight characters after entering your password you're going to click on here which says recapture I'm not a robot so once you have done it now click on agree and continue So now you will get to a page something like this where it says your Google Workspace account has been created. So now we are ready to move forward. So we'll click on go to setup. It says welcome to the admin console. Click on next. And here you are in the Google admin. It says welcome. Let's set up Google Workspace. Here you can see that it says activate Gmail for domainname.com. Then it says route your emails to Gmail inboxes. You want to activate it. So click on activate. Once you have done that, now you need to sign in. There are basically two methods. You can sign in to activate from here or you can switch to verification method which is manual which is little bit difficult what I prefer is that I would like to click on sign in to activate I would directly sign in to my godaddy.com which is the domain host provider and it would verify directly from there so I do not have to copy some of the technical stuff or some of the codes from here to there I don't need to copy paste that I would just quickly click here and then it would take me it would open up a pop-up so now it has opened up this window where it would ask me uh, for the confirmation to access my GoDaddy account so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna click on connect and now it would automatically confirm the access to my domain name you can see that it is activating the Gmail in the process it is verifying that if I really own that domain name and it is also after verification it is updating email settings with godaddy.com which means that I do not have to do any of the settings manually as well all of it will be automatically done you can see that it says you can close this page and return later four minutes left so we just have to wait for four minutes and then it would be done so here you can see that it says welcome let's set up Google workspace so it might happen that when you're trying to activate your Gmail using your domain host provider maybe for the first time uh, it would show you an error so what you can do is that you can retry and then finally uh, it would be successfully set up so here you can see that the second optional for now optional 
uh, thing that we have it's create new users you can add new users for your team as well or you can skip it for now and you can do it later but we we'll like to do it right now so we will click on create and here you can see that it says add your team's email account you can add up to 10 users during your 14 day google workspace free trial you can also create free alias email addresses like info and sales or stuff like that click on continue here you can see that it says create new users for your team this is me which is essentially admin i'm going to add another user and the way to do that is you just click on add another user you enter their first name you enter their last name you enter their email username that you want to give and then you can also assign them an email alias which is optional and then you can save the user for now I would not like to create another user what I would do I would hit on continue if you want to create as many users as you want you can do so by following the process that I have just shown after that click on continue I would click on skip for now and here you can see that it says you are all set you can add your billing info if you want our domain is verified successfully we can check if we are receiving the emails so you can send a test email from here if you want to create a new user I have already shown you the step how to do that you can try out Gmail and other apps from here you can set up your mobile devices you can migrate your emails and documents you can enhance your email security before we go let me show you that how you can send test email click on send test email this is the subject this is the email message and this is the email address where we are sending we'll click send and here you can see that test email sent you can go to your gmail you can see that this is my inbox and here i have received the test email so that's it from this video hope you have enjoyed it thanks for watching do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos to help you advance your it career